right, I hooked up our OSD. Real simply, I, I did have to move two of the wires on this plug from here to here since this already comes with this wire lead. So then it goes positive negative signal and the signal's in, the power's in, comes over here our video or our on screen display. We got via transmitter signal, power ground, ground power camera signal, which is the white lead comes out to this camera. So just use a servo lead. And then the bottom two is going to be your positive and negative to power it. 12 volts works good. Okay, so here's how this is going to connect. You've got your NAS32 in your on-screen display. And this pin right here is a transmit receive for your uh, NAS for the flight control information and so forth. So what you're going to do is you're going to put some female connectors on here, which should be included in the kit. And you also put them on the VBAT which is right here, it says VBAT, and then you also will put them in right here, the positive and negative on channel six. I'm right, gonna put little female connectors. And then when you line it up, just like it is here, this goes to the VBAT. So you put pot male pins right here like this, these kind of pins right here, these kind of pins right here. And then when you push it on the female pins, everything will plug right in and line up. So you'll have your VBAT plugged in, then your transmit receive plugged in the on screen display, and down here will be power to power the NAS controller. Same as you use Opto Speed controllers, and then it'll just stack real nice like this. However, if you need to take it apart, you can just pop it off and you're good to go.